I remember we finals. spoke earlier while we were doing the mic check, uh, took some predictions. Mm -hmm. I remember we, we both called Drone going into the finals, and I think, who was the, uh, didn't we both pick the same um, finals matchup? Golda versus Drone? Drone. I don't think we picked Goda because Goda wasn't in the tournament at that oh, point. Oh, yeah, that's true. It? Yeah, it was, I think, Google Frog and Drone at the time. That's right. And so, with the Yawk uh, being impossible third. Curveball here with Goda subbing in now. We're left with a Goda Drone final. What's your prediction there? Well, I mean, it was a 2 0 last time for Drone. Yeah. So we'll see if Goda's gotten warmed up, though. But Can he redeem himself? Mm hmm. Gonna be a tough match. Is Drone. Has Drone lost a game this tournament? I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't look like it. He's had Google Frog, Yogg-Zatoth, Gota, and now he'll have Gota again. So if he wins the tournament, I mean... He's undefeated. Holy crap. Unbelievable. And that's not an easy schedule either. That's, I mean, probably the hardest schedule in the, uh, in the tournament. That's, well, the thing is, bear in mind, they actually didn't... Oh, crap. They actually didn't start... Well, didn't just play that. Basically, what they played. Come on, let me use the freaking lobby. What they played was their matches, and then they stopped, and they've taken a break, and they started again. So they're actually they're rested somewhat. They might be a bit bored oh, yeah. and possibly a bit cold, but they've rested, uh, and yeah, they that's have to lose point. too. So that's the thing. They actually have. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So drone is winner. Ah, I have to step away for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. So fields of Isis. This map is whoa! What the heck? Okay, it's broken. Okay, that was. That got messed up. The teams, that happens sometimes. Wow, that was a fast game. Yeah, Drone was on Team 9, not Team 1 or 2. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and then it just desyncs. Yeah, that always happens in the tournament because uh, I guess it doesn't auto-balance, maybe. Yeah, that's the problem. Although it happens occasionally even without auto-balance, or even with auto-balance, I should say. Hmm. All right, so this is, yeah, Grand Finals. Drone in winners and Golda in losers. Important to point that out because that oh. is relevant. Man, this is such a nice map for it, too. I love seeing this map between uh, high-level players. Yeah, this one can go either way. It can either be a total slog or it can be quite entertaining. Mm -hmm. Or it can end instantaneously. What the heck's going like on? Beautiful. Okay, so that's two games for Google Frog. Google Frog that's wins right, the tournament. That's right, I was going to say. 2-0 for Google well Frog. Well done, Google Frog. This drone go to final. Goes to Google Frog. Excellent score. Two exits to two. <laughs> Actually, two exits to zero. Okay, seriously, what the heck's going on? Technical issues, looks like. Maybe from go to zen. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get a glass of water. I'm just going to let you... Sure. I don't know. Talk to the stream a bit. Yeah. Talk to myself. Sure. Why not? Do that. Pretty common occurrence. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Been some pretty exciting matchups. I really like this final match. Drone good. I mean, really the best one you could ask for. Pretty classic uh, trope that's come up is macro versus micro oriented play, which is what we're going to see here most likely. And a map like Fields of Ice is for the opener. I don't know. I can't really make a call if that's more of a macro or a micro focused map it i mean potentially both right no because i feel like it's so easy to pork depending on the factory choices maybe you could fortify on the bottleneck so easily and so i guess it's easier to imagine this one becoming more of a macro game which i think would favor drone uh from everything we've seen today and i mean drone's just on fire so it's go to for as intimidating of a player as he is gonna have an uphill uphill battle battle here i believe well on the other hand you could make the argument that you can have a lot of ways of getting around to harass around the back, mm -hmm. especially with air. Yeah, Those that's what I was just, just going to say is once there's an air switch um, and we start seeing a, some sort of air superiority fight, that's when things are going to get crazy. Mm -hmm. Just to sort of break up the, the ground stalemate okay, that I'm pretty sure we're going to see. Lori agrees with you, though. Macro map. 
Yeah. It's definitely Mac okay. Cup. Okay. Good to have some confirmation. I mean, you can be greedy. He's right. Or they're right. Because there's about 10 metal extractors you can just take. If yeah. you had the center, you just have 10 metal. You have basically 20 at least metal. Mm-hmm. On top of your commander and factory and anything else you can grab. Mm. Yeah, I guess I guess it goes without saying that um, you definitely have to have a bit of macro at least in the opener because you have those metal extractors behind your rear wall, which are essentially mm. yours. So you have to take them as quickly as possible, really. Yeah. Okay, so we are now going to start the grand finals. Actually, I don't need to do that yet. Now I'm going to start the grand finals. It's going to be, as we were saying, field devices. That is the map it is. That old third time to charm. Stand by. Might actually get to see this one played out. I don't have any names in my player list. What the heck? Weird. Yeah, they're showing up for me. Okay, that happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. Usually fixes itself when the game proper starts. I see. There we go. So both players connected. Drone going for ooh, support con. Makes sense. So drone going for the forward bottleneck. Golda, where are they? Hmm. I think it's pretty common in the higher level matches to start in the center here. Just because you There's have no reason not to. I, yeah. The only reason I've ever seen not to do that is either because you expect an air attack from some way or you are... No, there's no good reason I can think of. Yeah, mostly you're just a new player. <laughs> there we go. We I've seen it done well position. once as part of a spider start. I think I've seen Ivan D do it before. Yeah. And incidentally, Golda is going for a spider start. Ah. So they are going for... Well, it makes sense. I mean, as you mentioned, they're better, slightly better at the micro game. So mm -hmm. they're going to go around and avoid that rid, or avoid that little choke point. Spiders would make sense. Spiders are gunships. Yep, absolutely. Plus, it gives you a really good option in the late game to come up over these hills. Exactly. That's what I mean. It's the, it's the hills. Mm. Now, drone, on the other hand, with the light vehicle is the more typical option. That's going to be the hard thing to deal with is, is the levelers, I think. Levelers and yeah. raptors, kind of, both of them. I mean, crabs will work fairly well. But before crabs, there's not much. Yeah, but once it gets to crabs, I mean, I don't think there's really a solution in the light vehicle factory. Maybe wolverines would be your It'd best be bet? A, it's numbers. It'd be a numbers yeah. game at that point. Yeah. Like, light vehicle is pretty much all about that as far as I can tell. Yeah, I would agree. And down goes one more. Well, okay. Well, Golda takes that out. Oh, is it a nice pickup? Yeah. And I think it's bear in mind, Golda has to win four games in order to win. <laughs> Because they have Ooh. to win four, they have to win two, and then it goes into the final fi grand finals. Like both players effectively having lost one, mm -hmm. and then after that, it's Gold would have to win two more times and another best of three. Definitely an uphill fight. Oh yeah, but, but hey, uh, they might pull it out. We'll see. Yeah, well, if anyone can do it, it's Gold, all right. Definitely, Gold has the best chance to do that because Gold has always been the best player. It's just a little surprising that someone's actually dethroned. I mean, okay, Randy did too, but then Randy was a professional StarCraft player, so that isn't... That's a thing. I mean, that's... That counts for a lot. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Anyway. Although it did mean that Randy played a lot of heavy glaive play. I loved their glaives. Just so this is a pretty interesting divergence that we're seeing already, how Goda has a Constructor on the hill picking up this reclaim over here. It uh, looks like... Oh, Goda... Or, uh, Drone actually just put his own Constructor on the hill picking up the reclaim, but... Uh, Goto was just a bit faster, and he has the stronger constructor as well, so mm -hmm. he might be able to pick it up more quickly. Yeah, because it's 500 reclaim per hill, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So I, I could see that snowballing if he keeps on it. He's able to keep pace with the uh, yeah. drone's ground forces. That's like In that safe area, that's about 2,000 reclaim of mm -hmm. safe reclaim. Like, you right. might as well go for it. So it's a ton, yeah. Going for it out the gate, too, it uh, means that you get the advantage more, more quickly than your opponent will if he delays picking up that reclaim. Yeah, the only thing is that Golda has basically been relying on drone not being aggressive. They've been relying so much on that. The fleas have been doing some damage, but not all that much if you look at it. Mm. They've been doing a little bit here and there, but I don't think they've really been forcing drone back. I think it is forcing him to put up these defenders true. along this expansion. True, better slow though. things down. That is true. Gonna, yeah, it's going to delay him from building the metal extractors, which means, you know, I mean, it, it's like a really small advantage at first, but like I said, it can snowball. You know, that slight difference in the early game. Yeah, the only thing I'm thinking huge. that works a bit more in Golda's favor here is that Drone 
isn't going for any scorchers. They're going for darts, and they're going for a lot of defenders and mexes. They aren't mm -hmm. going for scorchers, mm -hmm. which would rip apart the fleas no problem. True. That's the biggest thing, I think. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But it looks like at this point, Drone has secured their backs out of their base. And at this point, Golda has no real offense. Yeah. Fleas uh, don't count. Really no military at all. They have this, just these fleas, right? I don't see any but, other units. Although Drone's not building anything. Like, Drone isn't actually producing a military at this point. So, I mean, Golda isn't wrong. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Yeah. Going for a Venom, though. Good idea. Venom Hermit. Venom okay. Hermit. Nice. Yeah, Hermit. I like this. This is an interesting strategy. You don't really see it a lot, I feel like. I feel like it's more common for people to go like Venom Redback or Recluse Spam, but Venom Hermit, I, I'm a big fan. Especially in a more against a more defensive style of play like we're seeing from Drone here, having Hermit to tank out the defenders, it's going to be huge. That's true. They are mini crabs, and they have a huge amount of health. Is it? I like. I was really surprised the first time I uh, really took a look, but they have a lot more health than you might think for being uh, yeah. one of the cheaper units in the Spider Factory. Well, that's. I think I don't know if that was changed recently or what, but that's that took me by surprise too. The fact that they were useful, like what <laughs> hermits are hermits are useful since when? Yeah, exactly, exactly. How do I deal with these hermits? No one builds hermits. What is this madness? Never seen one built before. Although, like, rock, well, if you're cloaky, apparently Rock of Warrior does the trick, but still. Sure. It's just the surprise factor of, what is a hermit? <laughs> Especially being that I I quite like Spider Factor and I played it a fair amount, but I just, I tend to play Venom Redback. Right. Like, Venom Redback and a crab. That's kind of how I've always seen Spider Factories. That's how it plays. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's really common. It's a really powerful combination, easy to use. Um, well, but... it's risky. Mm, it's powerful, mm. but it requires a lot of attention and it requires yeah. ambushing. Like, it requires to use the fleas to see what's going on so you can ambush them with the venoms and redbacks. You cannot Absolutely. do a straight up assault with it. No. No, you, you need can the uh... with hermits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, it the looks thing. like this is what we're going to see. We see uh, Goat is actually just climbing over this hill, going for a frontal assault. He's going to use the hermits to tank, the venoms to stun out any raiders so that the uh, hermits can actually hit them. I mean, this is a really yep. nice combination. This could definitely be a formidable assault, especially if Goda continues to allow it to build and a really early gunship switch again. I guess not really early this time. Well, Drone just now aware that their stuff coming over that hit particular hill this particular time. Mm hmm As Goda was rather careful to keep it on the backside. But maybe not careful enough. We'll see how that goes. Scorchers, however, running right into Venoms, which is where they don't want to be, and a gunship switch with, as you've just mentioned, with rapiers. Wow. The one Venom comes in. Yeah. That AOE on the stun is Sheesh. excellent. <laughs> Three, Three scorchers, scorchers right one there. Shot. And the last one is just, you know what, I'll just kill yeah, you with the fourth. He even Wow, stunning out all four of the scorchers. That's the thing. That's Beautiful. Like, if you know how to use them, Venoms are absolutely devastating. Yep. Especially Venom Flea, because Venom Redback is great, but Venom mm. Flea is a cheaper combination if you can pull it off. Right, it's sure. The, it's just low is harder, because you don't want to stun at your own fleas. Of course. And a nice compromise between the two is Venom Hermit, where you can stun out with Venom like we saw, and then the Hermits can tank and actually hit things uh, once they're actually stun locked. Yeah. Well, what we're seeing is more of a distraction by the Venom, so the Hermits have a chance of doing stuff when the units that they're otherwise having to deal with are out of the way. Doing well to steamroll into this position, though. I mean, this is a lot of pressure on Drone's commander. Yep. Oh, these rapiers should be able to slow him down. I think it's going to go down here. Oh, yes, certain, it will. Certainly. It's Absolutely. One more shot. There, there we, we go. go. Commander down. Excellent. Goda's on the way over this eastern hill, too, if uh, Drone doesn't figure something out here. Well, I think it's going to be a little bit trickier, because there is... I mean, there's the Crasher. Some AA in position now. Yeah, it's it's a little bit tricky. The Hermits aren't a really going to deal with that. Razor coming up as well, but certainly a big threat that uh, Drone had to respond to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is nice. I like this from Goda. Basically, just camp out, make sure you take control of the Reclaim, or deny Drone from taking it at any rate. Yeah, and force them to defend. Yeah. Force them back in their base. I mean, at this point... Wow, Drone doesn't even have the Geo Plants. Golda has wow. both of them. Oh, yep. They haven't mohoed or anything, but they're as much still as, uh, got both. We were talking oh, yeah. about Drone as a macro-oriented player. I think he's getting out-macroed here. Well, at this point, it's even. Yeah. It's it's a dead heat. Golda has a bit more reclaim, but otherwise, it's actually, static economy-wise, a slight advantage to Drone. But mm -hmm. Golda has Overdrive, and they have some reclaim, I think. Oh, wow. This uh, Overdrive grid isn't even hooked up at all. 
Yeah, drones over drive grid? Not at all. There's like one patch in the center. Oh, I was looking at uh, go to oh, yeah, go to is not completely hooked up, but it's it is still pretty powerful. Yeah, like, it's still the ones in the northwest corner are getting doubled. Excellent. But yeah, if that gets hooked up, like one or two pylons, and that's mm -hmm. that's going to be a massive advantage. Great big eco advantage, I think. Yep. Like the Scorch 70 power from the like, dive in here. Wow, I just realized Golda has as much power in those two geo plants as Drone has in total. <laughs> so that's a big deal, especially with the overdrive. Mm -hmm. Now, if Drone. What does Drone have for anti air? I saw the Crashers. There's quite a few of those. Oh, there's four of those. Never mind. There's not actually that many. There's the Razor. He has a, a couple of Razors. Yeah, I think he has one on each it. side in his back ranks here. Which will uh, at least stop the rapiers from like hanging out there, but there's such a huge ball of rapiers at this point. I don't know. I feel like they could tank out the one racer that's in each side of this base. Pretty much, yeah. Mm. Some tridents coming up as well out of uh, drones gunship factory. Yeah, it definitely needs to come up with an answer for these rapiers, though. This is a huge critical mass of them. And a shield switch, because why not? <laughs> sure. Just, oh, for Just for the bandits. Just for the extra raiders. There's a uh, crow coming up from Goda's <laughs> gunship factory. With only two minutes left? Wow! On that, 50 metal. The power of eco. Well, it's only plus 50. Sure. They're actually pushing... I guess they're pushing mostly into it, though. It's... How much mm -hmm. is it draining? I was not saying how much is draining. They even shut down the spider factory. Well, it's... Actually, it is draining about 40. So yeah, 40 eco there, and then 10 into shield bot factory for the extra raiders. This Venom cleaning up nicely to north, stunlocking the slashes for the commander to come in. Once again, man, I mean, those EMP spiders, they're, uh, I think underrated in my opinion. The Venoms? Yeah. What do you mean they're underrated? They're the core fa- they're pretty much the core unit of the factory. I mean, I guess if you mean that the factory as a whole is underrated because the Venoms are seen as the main force of the factory, then, yeah, okay, I see the point there. But Venoms yeah. are... Like, the thing with the Venoms is they're just tricky to use. Like I said, you have to ambush. You have to know where to attack. You have to attack without your opponent being able to stop you because the Venoms can't easily defend themselves if they're caught out. I guess what I meant is that I don't think players build enough of them. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I see that. But then again, that kind of just goes back to the factory isn't played all that often anyway because a lot of people just think, oh, it's Venom and Redback, and I don't know how to play that. Sure. And it's tricky. Definitely. Things have uh, quite a down a bit. A little bit of a stalemate, it looks like. A bunch of tridents pretty well countering this rapier ball. At least for the moment. Uh, whoa, drones coming up with a silo, but I don't think that's going to be a good answer. Oh, this crow just took off. Yeah, 30 seconds with the silo, but what are they going to do? I think this crow's going to seal it, right? I don't know. The tridents are a problem. Yeah, that's true. They're a major I, problem. There's no anti-air to deal with. Oh, I no, think there the is a tarantula. No, that's not a tarantula. That's a weaver. What the heck? Where's the tarantula? Yeah, there's... Oh, no, no. Well, it's Vandals. There's a Vandal. Yeah. Still. Gonna be tough well, to deal with. Hmm. However, at the same time, that's a lot of metal invested in the air. The level is gonna be a pain for those bandits, though. But a lot of air. Goda definitely wants to be gentle with this. He knows that he has a strong force here, but he doesn't want to overcommit and lose it. Well, yeah, that's the biggest risk. Oh, nice! Terraforming! We actually see some terraforming. <laughs> Over to the north side. Close up, plug up that north side. Make sure that isn't a problem. Don't drop the bombs. Don't drop the bombs. You're not going to drop the bombs. Of course, you're not going to drop the bombs. What am I saying? Well, drop them when you mean to drop them. Although, it looks like. Where are the tridents? Wow! Drone does not have the tridents in position. Oof. And the Vandal's now able to take advantage of that. They just got in position. Wow. That's, that is going to suck. One trident down. Another trident down. More tridents also going down. This massive air engagement here. Yeah, it looks like there's... Well, Drone's going to lose this. I mean, they're going to lose the Rapiers and the Tridents. Right. What are they going to have? The Bandits can take care of the Crashers, no problem. The Levelers are the only issue for those Crashers. And they're dead. Honestly, I think Goda's wasting time with his crow chasing up to the north like this. He just needed to head, head over that eastern hill and then up the backside. That well, would have sealed it. at this point, it doesn't matter. They're going to go for the factory. They're going to drop bombs the everywhere. Yeah. The one Inferno being sent out, or presumably an Inferno. Because that's all anyone ever builds. <laughs> Over to hit the... Wow, that actually works. Hit the rapiers. I didn't realize that would... Yeah, I guess that does hit air. All right. Well, I think that uh, pretty much does it here. I, I agree. I don't see any way these rapiers are not going to just kill everything. Well, the rapiers and the crow. The missile silo is already dead. It burned itself out. 
slight mistake there. And there's the other... Okay, that's that's all of drone's production. Yeah, drone has no military. They have no production. They have some economy, but that's it. Oh, they got the geo plants at the end, though. That's one thing. Neither mm -hmm. player mohoed, but I don't think it matters at this point. <laughs> sure. And that's game. So game Beautiful one goes there. to Golda. Drone's yeah. first loss. Excellent. I'm happy to see it. That was, uh, that was quite the finishing move. And we did see it uh, pour up, like I mentioned. It definitely turned into a macro game, I would say. Yeah. That was less macro than I expected. Much less macro than I expected. Yeah. Yeah, I could agree with that. I expected to have... I expected it would just have no way through. I mean, Golda... Golda knew that and just went, okay, well, there's no easy way through, so I'll just take the hills. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Flying that fortress right over him, that's uh, definitely the right call. That's the first time I've ever really seen a serious... serious play like that. <laughs> I know. It's, you don't see a lot of crows in 1v1. But, no, uh, not really. That's not something you ever... No, very rare. But definitely uh, well executed there. Especially with the rapiers to support it. It was a very classy crow. You know, it wasn't the cheesy mm -hmm. kind of crow. Oh, interesting. Titan duel. Okay. So I think this is drone betting on his macro again. Yeah, that's interesting. And of course, I screwed up the stream title. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I do that all the time. There we go. Why is the key from interval four seconds? Hmm. Shoot, I think I may have screwed up something with my config. Have they started yet? They have almost. All right. They're, uh, yeah, just placing now. Is the stream choppy for people? Like, for anyone or everyone? Just because I might have messed something up in my configurations. Not totally sure. I don't know. When I was watching it earlier on today, it was fine. Okay, debt's having no problems. I'm... Not having too many issues if I'm looking at the test itself. Yeah, zooming does seem a bit slower than it should. Running at 60 FPS, I wonder if Engine X is messed up. That stupid Twitch hacking thing, I had to reset a bunch of stuff, reset a bunch of settings, and mm -hmm. that meant I had to reset my Engine X config. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know if I. I didn't change much, I just had to change the stream key. I just mm -hmm. had to start and stop it, and that was that was it. Oh. Pretty much. Anyway, so Titan Duel, for those of you not familiar, is corner start map, vehicle focused, very flat. Ah, of course the camera's still screwed. Anyway, very flat. And all plus two metal. Generally you focus on building up the corners. You generally want to focus on building up the corners of the southwest and the northeast. Yep. Very much so. Another light vehicle mirror. Pretty uh, frequent matchup, hasn't it been, this tournament? Well, we've been seeing a lot of flat maps, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing is, the desert-themed maps are largely things that are flat. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. Titan yeah, Duel, Devices, and Pulta, like, they're all alien desert. Mm -hmm. Red Comet would count, too, but we didn't play that one. I guess it was just too common. Yeah. It's like Those are all... Actually, no one's played Red Comet, <laughs> interestingly mm. enough. Yeah. Let's pick that one. It's like it's falling out of favor, which I'm okay with. Although, I'm sort of okay with it, except for the fact that I helped remake it, or at least make it prettier. <laughs> so on the one hand, yeah, I don't like the map that much, but on the other hand, I made it pretty, or helped make it pretty. I want to see it pretty. Oh, nice by Golda, just oh hiding behind boy. the worker. That is clever. So the wow. Lotus can't get them. Didn't totally work, wow. though. Didn't work quite paying complete perfect attention, but still... Oh, sorry, that was Drone doing that, not Golda. Yeah, Drone doing that, hiding behind the worker, very clever. <laughs> Although messed up in the targeting. Yeah, I don't know. The targeting gets weird sometimes. Oh, man, I know. 
I, I feel like I'm always foiled by the bad targets that my units pick. Well, it's like I have like T click, T click, T click. Try to do something. Do something else. Yeah. Like target that thing. No, not that thing. The other thing. Well, the yep, UI looks really weird. The UI is actually really weird because it's, I think it's some weird engine-based UI thing that just reverses everything and then shows weird axis lines. I don't know. It's bizarre. Hmm. At any rate. Looks so it like looks like Drone at the moment, mostly committed to Scorchers. See, just the first slasher out from Gota, but nothing really on deck so far. Are we going to see more slashers out of Gota? I think Gota's going for heavy economy. They really want to get their power infrastructure up quickly. They want to get the defense line. They want to make sure that stuff can't go around the back. Mm -hmm. You notice around the north side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's this little that. line of solars from the edge. Yeah, Drone not going for that. They did that one of their early games on Battle for Planet 17. I really like that. But I feel like it's uh, something that should become a part of the meta. Blocking off the very edges of the map with the solar well, it collectors. It was. It's, and then it kind of stopped. Oh, that's interesting. I've never really seen it become like really popular. but No, it was a thing that Clone did all the time. They kind of huh. stopped doing it for a while, but they had like, solars and they had lotus lotuses behind it. Mm -hmm. They actually did that not even just in the edges, but also near metal extractors. They have a couple solars with a lotus in between. That makes sense. But it hasn't come up too often. What also hasn't come up is using it to follow the pathfinding mm -hmm. by putting the solar, the last solar ways back. I feel like that's a little bit of a like a great area as far as ethical. I suppose, but it's one of those things that you know, if it's a problem, it's a bug and needs fixing. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, that's a good point. That's that's my view on it. It's like if it's a bug, then fix it. And if it True. is a bug, like fix it now if it's a big exploit problem. But honestly, sure. I'm not sure that it's that much of a problem because the pathfinding seems like it actually would account for that case generally. Yeah, I would imagine it would it would have to at some point. Mm -hmm. But I guess really the reason I'm so surprised by not being a big part of the meta, at least at the moment, is that it's so common for games to end by uh, packs of raiders sneaking along the edges of the map. I mean, yeah, you see right. it all the time in 1v1. So I feel like having solar walls on the edges like addresses a really big vulnerability in a lot of people's positions. So I really feel like it should become more common. Well, I think the other part of the problem is it works on maps like Titan Duel because of the corners. And even then, it's risky. It's like some of the parts of it work okay, but it's not as good as it might look. Mm -hmm. But on maps that, you, like, a lot of the maps where you start out closer to the center, what are you supposed to wall off? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. It's a pretty big Unless wall. You're at the edges, or especially at the corner, you have nothing to wall against. Mm -hmm. And so you're just spending all this cash building a bunch of solar plants that aren't even being used for power. That you could Very be spending true. on units. Yep, definitely a good point. But yeah, when it can be used is a good idea. It's just something that can't always be used. Neck and neck so far. Look at this. Just a three metal advantage for drone at the moment. Mm -hmm. Military's dead even. Both players meet up just about the center line. Yeah, I think like drone's just a little bit more forward. Yeah, I think drone is probably. Oh, sorry, I think drone is probably going to have an easier time getting in the corners though right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Gore's kind of conceded. Definitely the southwest corner mm, and the yeah, northeast corner. Point. They're not that close to it. Could end up being a pretty big deal. Look at this. We're seeing a leveler slasher coming out from drone. Oh my. Yeah, it looked like at the same time Gold was trying to cut the center, but I don't I don't know. I don't see that happening. No, I don't think he can creep through with this. And there we go. Wow. Okay. Drone is gonna not be able to take the northeast easily. Ah, Gold is nice. making sure to to claim that as quickly as possible. They do not want to lose that. Good, good. Excellent way to salvage the situation. Southwest is still basically drones at this point, unless Gold can do something different, but the northeast? Gold has got it. They've taken it now. They've changed that up. And the nice use of slashers on the levelers. Those levelers are not going to last too long. Mm -mm. I think one of the slashers might die, maybe. Ooh. Dangerous yeah, looking scorcher dive coming in here th through the center. Taking out the slasher. Should be able to juke well, through. I think. Uh, mm. Getting yeah, caught up a little control, bit too much in the static should be able to. Oh, uh, yeah. Those defenders. Those just defenders. Just got snagged a little bit. If he headed out to the east, which of course he couldn't have known, but if he had headed out to the east, it would have been a uh, straight shot through to the factory there. Yeah. Well, straight-ish. There were still defenses around. Sure. There was a path, but it would have been tricky to take, and there were scorchers in the way. We are seeing mass slashers from both players. So once again, I mean, this is a recurring strategy that I see in light vehicle mi well, mirrors. Slash a scorcher from Golda. Mass ravagers yeah. now from drone. Uh, coming through to try and break that. It's definitely yeah. a uh, common mid to late game transition. Six and a half minutes into the game. It's pretty developed positions. 
Well, that's a high level play for you. Like, sure. It, it's fast. Very impressive. Really fast. Yeah. Big like, difference as soon as get, between As uh, soon as you get the advantage, you go for it. You just hit everything. Shoot. Ooh, dangerous scorcher dive that's on the commander here. Mm, it's, no. It's a failed dive. Oh, oh, I Actually, don't know. No, being a Ooh, oh, what? Pretty close. Really? And there you go. Wow. Okay. Scorchers I did not expect that. Was Easy to underestimate. Yeah. Was, I thought uh, that the defenses would take it out in time. Once you right, get right into range there, I mean, the proximity bonus is so huge. That's true. That's a, that was a. I feel like a big deal, right? Because Drone was relying pretty heavily on his commander to fortify the central position. He was able to push Definitely Gota back a bit with these ravagers. Yeah. Although the but northeast... Like, oh boy, northeast Gota is just trying to escape with their worker, make sure their worker lives until they get to defend it. Sure. Those ravagers are going to be a problem. Back and rebuild, yeah. Oh, man. But at this, this point, Drone really still dynamic has... Position. Drone has an econ advantage despite the loss of their commander. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. There hasn't really been enough economy built for Gulda. And it looks like these Ravagers will probably go down, though. Scorches are the right choice, but even then... Even then, I don't know, the Northeast is now gone for Gulda. Drone can't easily take the Southwest, but... Well, okay, they can easily take the Southwest, they just don't have anything in position yet. Ooh, a couple of Wolverines coming in from Gulda as well to clear out this uh, central position from Drone. After that happens, I think Gulda will have a really easy time taking the Southwest. And he can retake the northeast, I think, fairly easily. There'll be a little bit of contention from these Ravagers, it looks they're, like. But they're focusing on reclaim right now. But yeah, once they're once they've reclaimed, I think they will just focus on the northeast because why not? Sure. They have the power to do it. But they very soon will. Can be those Ravagers are a problem though. Yeah, Goda has to be really careful about how he handles this. He obviously doesn't want to let the Ravagers, Ravagers slip through, but he needs to be capitalizing on the opportunity that he's made for himself by taking out this commander to try and expand a bit more. Uh, otherwise, you risk getting, getting uh, contained. Oh, the stream chat's reminding me. It's eight minutes into the game. Look at the factories. Look at what factories aren't there, and what units aren't oh, there. Yeah. Aren't flying through point. the sky, destroying the commanders <laughs> directly. Not a, not a raven in sight. Nope. Which is interesting. Someone in the chat, or who was it? Oh, it sprang in the chat. Nerfed raven is directly a buff to zero K. <laughs> I like it. I... Gotta say, I, th I think we got a point. <laughs> Have to agree. Okay, well, drone I think might be pushed. This is, I, Gold has got to defend this. Otherwise, this is a tournament. Yep. Hey, this oh, is gonna boy. be. Oh no, not, not quite. No, no. Gold won the first match. No, it's gonna be game three if Gold oh, yeah, loses yeah, this. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Is I, don't, I don't see Gold getting out of this though. These, these four Ravagers. I mean, the Scorchers. If they're really well controlled they might be able to get out of this it stalled out a bit but look at this go to has a pack of ravagers of his own over on the east side i think if he can get in here and take out this just a couple of lts maybe move around the stardust out here oh yeah and there's actually those ravagers are being pushed back drones ravagers are forced back by gold drone attack. is upside down in his position here all of wow all of Goda's units are closer to his factory than drones units are and this is the perfect position this is the position you always want to be in uh dive 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 man i feel like Goda just has to go for it here yeah, I don't know. I think they're they want to be careful. They want to dive the Raptors instead. Stop them from getting behind, flanking them out, and destroying them. I don't know, but he has Raptors right next to his slashes there. Well, I guess they are. I don't know. I don't know. It's two up. Yeah, the tanks them out. Oh. That's four two on the or three two on the Raptors. Yeah. One more shot, and it's gonna be. Oh, there we go. Focus properly. Yeah. Now the Raptors are gone into levelers, which Raptors beat. And then after that, well, Raptors sort of beat, especially if the levelers are pointing towards them. Still, economy is about the same. Military is solidly in Gulda's favor. Mm -hmm. And where is... Okay, there's not much reclaim, but there is the defenses at least. Some defenses. Desperately, rapidly built defenses. It's like, get it up now or we're going to die. And the Ooh. answer is you're going to die. Yep. Sorry. Snaked expansion up to the northeast. Uh, looks like it's going to get cleared out. Oh, no. No, so no, get there time to defend. Problem uh, with the center, though. Drones yeah. attacking through the center as well with a single, single Scorcher. At the same time, Slasher's in here, and Ravagers go for the dive. So the Ravagers decide to go for it. Just sort of. They try. Yeah. Scorchers do counter them pretty, pretty much. Pretty easily chased away by these Scorchers. Although, on the other hand, if the Scorchers die, then there's not much left. And they might decide to go for another attack. I think it's better to pull them back, repair, and regroup. Oh, I agree. It's that they're going to pull them back and kill the Scorchers in the process because they're retreating. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it opens them up. Unfortunately, not so much for the slashers. They're dead. Wow, look at how much this has thinned out. It was uh, it was pretty dense with the units for a moment there. 
Yeah, Gordon needs to retake that center though. Like all these mechas in the center, they need to be retaken now. Yeah. Well, that and the reclaim field as well. He needs to either maybe not take it for himself, but at least stop drone from getting this, you know, 1.6k just outside of his base. Yeah, that's gonna be. I don't think there's anything that Gordon can really do about that. Like, any He's attacks to try to it. dislodge that will probably end up. I mean, the best thing they could do, I suppose, would be to dive the workers and try to yeah, kill exactly. them directly. I would agree with that. But even that's that. gonna be too risky, I think. Too tricky. Now look at that drones lining up his scorchers too well for that. Right, there's body blocking that entire choke point. Wow, it's that not is worth an it. excellent block too. Although nice, actually nice distraction Dude, by Gordon to pull it nice. out of position, allowing oh, at least one of the workers to die. Killing one, one. cutting metal income by five. Uh oh. Oh wow, that was oh. really clever by Gorda. That positioning, wow. that that was incredible. Yeah, just pulled oh. drone down, convinced them down, Kaplan and. Him. And look at mixed that. Mixed up. Drone has nothing here. Perfect mix he has up. has nothing in this area right now. So Goda's just moving in with his commander trying to set up some defenses, I would imagine. Stay yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Wow. That was a that perfect mix-up. That was a big play. Like, I... Oh, this is tense. That was drone cool. still so, yeah, has I don't to know. deal drone... with the Scorcher Ball well, right drone... outside of space. Levelers. They have levelers. That is going to be a powerful thing. There's not much that Goda can really do about that. Sure, but just the Scorchers running around in here, applying the pressure, maybe not actually damaging anything, but forcing these levelers to stay here to defend against them, mm -hmm. it's going to be a win as well. Oh, this leveler over to the north getting destroyed, securing the northeast, leaving Gorda with the northeast, drone to the southwest, and drone's base. It's a little bit ragged. Very much under threat. And, oh, the Scorchers are not being repaired. And they're heavily yeah, damaged, like too. That needs to be done. Go is focusing more on stack defenses. Understandable. Which I can but, see, but at the same time, uh, so many of those scorchers need to be repaired. Yeah, it could be costly like, here once right the engagement now. really fires up. Which is about to. Yep, especially with these levelers coming in. Ah, uh, the levelers do get scared away by the LTs, though. That's nice. Handy, but even then, all these scorchers. Such a fragile position. It could go either way. One misstep by either player could turn it. Well, it did already. I mean, with that, that excellent move with the scorchers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And, and it looks like Drone is trying to force one over the north. Uh, forcing Gorda's hand to the north. Gorda not totally falling for it, but just pulling enough Scorchers to do it. Not mm. sending their entire army. Beautiful. Common rookie mistake, but yep. not being committed by Gorda here. We're seeing a gunship factory from Drone. It's uh, not being used at the moment. Just one rapier up so far. Yeah, well, it had a rapier queued, but that's... Yeah, nothing's... Is it on weight or something? Yeah, it's on weight, I guess. Oh, it is on weight. Yeah, it has to be. But now at this point, I think Gold is going to be able to push through. I think this is going to be game. Critical mass of Scorchers here. Wow, and this is turned around. I thought, I mean... These guys should make it to the factory. Yeah. Five minutes ago, I thought it was Drone's game, and now is, Gold has basically taken it. This is not what I expected to happen. Wow. Well, I think a large part of it was, like, there was a huge amount of pressure with those Ravagers, but then they got forced back over on the west side of the map. And as yeah. a result, Golda could push back. And then when Golda retreated and came back with a larger group of Scorchers and the body block, and then they managed to pull Drone around and mix them up, get in the get in the weak side, like, make a weak side and then get in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Really good game sense. Off. Mm -hmm. it, it makes me wonder, like, did he plan this out in advance, or is he just, like, that good, you know, to intuitively know how he should play, position his units to open up holes in his opponent's defenses. I think it's just a matter of understanding how people are probably going to move. Like, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of Titan Duel games where that sort of body blocking play happens, and now we're on to the absolute wow. grand finals. Both players in losers, essentially. Both players having lost. This is it. This is the absolute final set. Man, this is... <laughs> Really built up. It was uh, Drone was on fire, right? He went 2-0 yeah. every match before every this. Every single match. And go to 2-0s him. Bam. That is a huge deal. Wow, what a turnaround. So, sheesh. But yeah, what I was saying, like, it's just... I've seen so many games in Titan Duel where players will go for that body block, and they'll just mm -hmm. try to set up where you have... You have one player, and they have another player, and then it's just... Or they're trying to send the Scorchers, they move with the Scorchers, and then the other players move with the Scorchers. Right. And then, knowing how that's going to likely go, that's what Gold is playing off of. Mm -hmm. Gold knows it's going to happen. So, mm -hmm. it ends up being ends up being pretty easy to just go, okay, well, they're going to try to block me south, 
So I'll just pull them south and then block and then attack north. It's it's a high low mix up, but apply to an game. Mm. <laughs> it's basically the same idea. Except instead of See, crouching attack and overhead, it's moving south and north and moving east and west, like pulling their units in one direction, and then attacking in what's now a weak point. I was thinking that Goto was so familiar with ZK that he actually just simulated all the different possible realities of how the game could play out and then chooses from <laughs> that, that advanced simulation in his mind the optimal strategy. No, he's he's like hacked a, chess, a version of like Akron a to play 0K inside of it without the rest of us knowing. Okay, that's now I understand. He's that yeah, good that of makes a more player. sense. 